let's say I'm very new at the organization, but I've done all the right things. I mean, I've read the mission statement, but what about all of those unwritten rules of conduct? How do I know what to say, how to act? One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're new at an organization is they just come in swinging. That is the worst thing you can do. Instead, what you need to do, instead of doing and telling and telling people what to do, what you need to do is step back, observe, ask questions, and really listen. Figure out what's acceptable within an organization before you start taking action. So what are some of the clues I should look for as to the identity of my organization? Well, there's really two, two ways that you can look at it. You can look at it at a really top level from the corporate culture. What kind of organization is this? Is this a really informal, social, fun, creative type of place? Or is this this formal, kind of more rigid, structured organization where titles mean a lot? Is it a political place? These are the types of questions you have to ask yourself. So what if I worked at a tech company in Silicon Valley and I decide I'm going to move to financial services in San Francisco? I mean, there are some big cultural changes there. You're in for some serious cultural changes. A, a tech company is going to be more laid back, more creative. Everything from how you dress to how you talk and interact is going to be very different. In a financial services industry, it's all about credibility. And so you, you manage people's money. So how you dress, how you act is going to be much more formal and structured. Even how you communicate is going to be different. Instead of texting and IMing, in financial services there's regulations that say you're probably not going to be able to do that. In summary? In summary, before you do anything in a new organization, step back, observe, observe the culture, observe the successful people, and then once you've figured it out, then you can take action.